Hello, and welcome to this week's MTV, where I have selected the word mentor. Mentor means a wise and trusted counselor or teacher, an influential senior. The word mentor is near and dear to my heart, not because of the word, but because of the people in my life who have taken the time to mentor me, to invest in me. So I want to break down um, each portion of that definition that I gave you. Wise, able to make good use of knowledge. It's one thing to have knowledge, and there are many people who have a lot of knowledge. It's another thing to correctly apply that knowledge when it comes to how we use it in life. Someone who is wise makes good use of the knowledge that they have. Trusted, to place one's confidence. In this case, another person, a person who you're gonna look to to actually mentor you. And then counselor to advise, to help you develop a plan of action. And then that word influence, I wanna just touch on that. Influence is so significant in how it can be used for the betterment of another person. So mentor, who in your life has been someone who has taken the time to invest in you? a wise, trusted counselor who has influenced you. Well, I wanna share with you four things that I believe are significant about a mentor that you would have in your life. First, a mentor is wise because they have greater experience. So important, a, a great mentor, someone who has lived longer, has experienced more, and out of that experience, they are willing to share what they have learned, how God has taught them, how God has grown them. So a mentor is wise. Secondly, a mentor can be trusted to tell you what you need to hear versus what you want to hear. There have been many times where I sat on the, um, the in, well, in the chair or on the porch of one of my mentors back in um, the Lithia, Florida area, that's in the Tampa area, thinking, I really don't want to hear anything hard or challenging. I just, I want to feel good. And I am so thankful that I was always told what I needed to hear, not always what I wanted to hear. So a mentor then also must be a teacher. The question is, am I, are you teachable? A mentor, out of the um, abundance of the wisdom that they have gained through their experience and their willingness then to share that is able to teach us some wonderful truths about life. Um, it could be life, business, parenting, marriage. There, there could be any number of things um, about which we might be able to engage someone who is mentoring us. The key always is, do we approach that relationship with a teachable open heart and mind to what we are going to hear and then a willingness to actually go out and apply it, to live it, um, to share it with other people as God gives us opportunity. So a mentor is wise, a mentor can be trusted, a mentor is a great teacher, and finally a mentor is an influencer. You know, someone who's mentoring you isn't going to tell you what to do in your life or in your business or in your marriage or as a parent. They are though going to influence you not only in what you do, but also in how you think, how you engage the actions, the behaviors, the opinions that you have, and it becomes such a valuable resource for you. Now, I wanna share with you um, a story about uh, a mentor of mine who is very near and dear to my heart. Her name is Teresa. She is 20 years my senior. So she's experienced at any given day at least 20 more years of life um, than I have. And so as a result, um, because of her love for the Lord and her willingness to constantly um, study the word, she has gained, gained great wisdom in all of the experience, experiences that she has had. And out of that, 
I have grown to trust her because on so many occasions she has chose to tell me what I needed to hear versus what I wanted to hear. I remember a day sitting on um, in her back screened area of her home and she said to me, Elizabeth, I really want you to give thought to 1 Corinthians 10, 12 and 13, which states, lest you think you're standing firm, you are not no temptation has overtaken you except that which is common to man, but that when you're tempted, God is faithful and he will provide you a way of escape. And I remember sitting there that day as she shared with me, just seeing how my tendency is to believe that I'm self-sufficient and I can be independent and I can get it done and that I might not have a struggle or the same issues that someone else that I see, but lest I think I'm standing firm, I am not. I submit to you that that passage of scripture has been extraordinarily significant in my walk in how God has been transforming me over um, the last few years. Such a moment of influence that Teresa used in my life to teach me, to give me counsel, to help me in developing a plan of action for how I might become a more godly woman, a better wife, a better mother. And so for that, I am so grateful to the time that she invested in me. So what about you? Who is a mentor for you? If you have one, then I encourage you and challenge you this week, take time to write a note of personal thanks to um, that person, letting them know what a difference they have made in your life. If you do not have one, then I challenge you this week, start praying for God to show you or to bring into your path someone who would have a desire and a willingness to invest in you, and then pray also for God to prepare your heart and your mind to be teachable to receive those things which you will hear. And with that, I pray that you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you back here for our next MTV.